What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be talking about the new eFootball survey, right? So you have it here in this in the game as well. You can do it through your PlayStation, or of course, if you want to do it, you can also do it online. So we're actually on the online portal here for the survey. You just answer a couple of quick questions: what region you're from, and this will eventually bring you onto this menu here, which is going to be what platform you play. We're going to talk about a couple of bits and pieces on this. So we're going to actually first start off with the matchmaking filters. Let me know what you guys thought about this survey as well, because I haven't seen it before and a few people are kind of asking me to do it. So we said that we just do it in a video, right? So I'm just going to answer what kind of settings I have, right? So I usually just play search nearby. Um, how many matches? 11 or more. Uh, do you play with smart assist on or off? I mean, personally for me, I just don't want anything got to do with smart assist, man. Uh, it's just not for me. It really isn't the direction I wanted to go but more on that later. There is a difference in the player's dribbling abilities. How strongly do you agree with this statement? I would say that I agree with that. It depends how good of a dribbler that you are. I mean, if you don't dribble that much, you're not going to see much of a difference, but there is a difference when you get the ball with Messi compared to getting the ball with Harry Maguire. Maybe not speed-wise, but I definitely think when you have the ball at their feet, you know, the likes of Neymar, Messi, they do feel quite a, kind of slick. I think dribbling is, a, is, is at a high point for eFootball at the moment. How satisfied are you with the ability to dribble as you intend? I'm satisfied. I wouldn't say that I'd give it top marks, but I'll say I'm somewhat satisfied. I think it can always be better, slow the game down a little bit more, improve the quickness and the explosiveness of the tricks and the little touches. But I do think the dribbling is good, honestly. Um, I do feel like that none of these are going to be top marks, right? How would you rate the maneuverability of finesse? I would say, again, that's very good. Or if I would say even very good, man. I've been having a lot of fun with finesse. How satisfied are you with the strength and movement? I would say that I'm somewhat satisfied. Again, to be honest with you, I'll probably put satisfied, man, because I do feel like that they are going to nerf the dribbling anyway, because a lot of people are complaining that they can't defend against it instead of, you know, sitting back. I was able to pass the ball to the player intended. How strongly do you agree with this statement? I would say that I strongly disagree with this, man. I think passing is at probably the worst it's ever been in eFootball. Um, pass assist, yes, pass assist. I know we have this argument the whole time on the streams where people are like, you know, oh, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that. I've said for months, once you have 85 low pass, and you have all the passing skills, the rest is just left up to the balance of the game. It doesn't make a difference if you've got a player 100 low pass with all the player skills, or you've got a center back that's able to pass the ball out. If the ball doesn't want to go to the target, it won't go to the target. It doesn't matter what pass assist you're on. The only thing pass assist will change, in my opinion, and from researching, and I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with me, like, get in touch in the comments below, is the, the way that the players move to the ball, that it's slightly more like uh, rigid in that they move to the ball and it's slightly more ping pong if you play that way. The problem with passing and dribbling at the moment is that the people that are having no real issues with the passing are playing a lot of quick touch, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 interceptions a game, 40 on each side, fast, you know, frenetic play where there's no possession and there's no big bouts of like, you know, 20 passes for a chance. It's literally pop, 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 passing through on goal, or pop, 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 get intercepted, pop, 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 get intercepted, and it's like a tennis match. So that's kind of where I'm at with the moment, right? And I don't want to keep this video too long. We'll get sidetracked, sidetracked, right? So I would say that there is a difference in the player's ball passing. I would strongly disagree with that as well. I think, again, passing is, is poor. Uh, ball trajectory, I think it's very, very, I'm very dissatisfied with that. How would you rate the responsiveness? Now, I would say that that's okay, um, I can't say either way. I would say that that's actually, do you know what? I'll say bad. I'm feeling a little bit saucy today, so I'll say bad. How satisfied are you with the ability to shoot the way that you intended? Now, on the flip side, I do think that shooting is actually quite decent. I think shooting and passing is at a, is at a high point. I very rarely struggle to score a goal if I get a good chance, right? Um, and usually it's my own fault if I miss, miss, uh, miss a shot. You know, if I'm true on goal, I should have like went low or should have went high, should have finessed, should have lobbed, should have shot earlier, should have shot later, should have taken a touch, should have went around the keeper, should have dinked it under the keeper. I do feel like the shooting is a bit of a skill gap in it. How, how strongly do you agree with the statement that the shooting controls are intuitive and easy to perform? Yeah, I strongly agree. I think shooting is, is even simplified. How satisfied are you with the ball trajectory and animations for shots? Again, animations need to work. So I would say that I'm a little bit dis... Mm, no, I would say I'm satisfied. I'm Jesus, lads. I can't make up my mind. How would you rate the responsiveness of shot commands? Again, grand, fine. I'm not going to focus too much on the things that we, we, we are okay with. We're 40% true. I feel a sense of exhilaration and achievement when scoring a goal. How strongly do you agree? I would say I disagree because a lot of the goals are the same. When I do score a good goal, it is nice. It gets you out of your seat. But I will say either way, it depends on the goal that you're scoring. And a lot of that is due to your own uh, breakdown in your own play. But 
most of the time I concede a goal. I feel like it's a cheap goal. And maybe it's just because I can't accept that somebody scores a banger against me. But anytime they score a banger against me, I let them watch the replay. But I feel like I'm scoring a lot of goals that are similar. You bring it down to the byline, you touch and go, or you touch and go and wait for the AI to spin around the, the shoulder of the opposition and you get in for a quick pop, uh, popping goal. But yeah, we're not going to get into that here. We're just doing the survey, right? How satisfied are you with the ability to perform feints? I would say that I'm probably somewhat dissatisfied. There's just no pop in the feints. Um, I would say that they're bad. Um, and I would say that I'm dissatisfied with the variety of feints as well. There is a variety of feints, but apart from double touch or ball roll or advanced double touch, which is ball roll as well, there's no point, man. There's no point doing tricks in the game. You're literally at a disadvantage if you do tricks and you play dribbling. Now, I still do it, but you are at a disadvantage if you come up against a strong player. There is a difference in the player's ball trapping abilities. How strongly do you agree with this statement? I would say I disagree with that. Uh, how satisfied were your ability to make traps and control the ball? Do you wait? Mm, I would say, again, this somewhat dissatisfied. How satisfied are you with the ball behaviors during the match? Again, that's not something that I'm too bothered about. I think that they've kind of reduced um, the amount of rebounds and ricochets and stuff like that. Still, crazy things can happen. But if I'm sitting down and I'm playing 10 matches, I'm not seeing it like 9 out of 10 games where crazy stuff is happening. Now, when you do see it, and when the balance is all over the place, it's infuriating. But I would say that 70, 80% of games are actually quite okay and manageable, especially if you slow the play down. How would you rate the maneuverability with defending? I would say that at the moment, the defending is way too assisted. So I would say bad. There is a difference in the player's defending abilities. How strongly? Well, I do strongly agree with that because if you are playing with Costa Corta, Maldini, Nesta, Rudiger, any of those big boys compared to like a lower rated defender, there's a massive gulf between those boys and the standard defenders compared to the standard strikers and the big boy strikers. I think the defense is just way too assisted. Players will actively and aggressively fight for the ball. How strongly? Again, strongly disagree. To a fault. To a fault, they fight for the ball too much. How satisfied are you with interceptions? Dissatisfied. Absolutely dissatisfied. How satisfied are you with the foul decisions? Dissatisfied. I think the refs are an absolute joke. They're on crack. I can change the cursor to the intended player. Yeah, strongly agree. I never have a trouble with, with switching players. Listen, give them credit, man, where, they've, where, where they deserve it. I think that they have improved the dribbling. They've improved the responsiveness. I think that they've improved a lot of things with the game. That doesn't mean that you, that you can't say that they haven't improved other things or disimproved other things since the last patch. Even though the game is probably 5 to 10% better than what we had, it's just gone crazy at the moment, in my opinion. How satisfied are you with the goalkeeper's abilities and movements? Again, I would say that the goalkeepers are not too bad. I think that they're pretty decent. They do make the odd clangor, but they do that in real life as well. The aerial jewel for the ball. Again, that's kind of something that I'm a little bit... I'm kind of torn on that because the aerial ball and the way that they pl the aerial ball play in the game at the moment, I actually like it because I'm actually quite good in the air at it. Um, especially knock-ons and knockdowns and touchbacks and... But it's a tough one because I think the aerial jewel is going to be something that they'll need to be, yeah, really refocused on. I'm going to say satisfied though because I do like the colorness up front. How satisfied are we with the fairness of contest for the ball? Again, I don't think that that's really an issue uh, with it. Again, get in touch. Comments below if I'm if I'm if I'm uh, if you disagree. There is a difference in tactics between the teams. How strongly do you agree? Strongly disagree with that. Everybody plays the same way. Once you get into Division Three. Everybody is playing as if their grandmother's uh, life is on the line, man, and they need to rescue her. They play the same simplified streamlined play. And when you come up against somebody that is absolutely beastly and against the grain and plays brilliant, you just have to applaud it. And it's, it's nice that you can lose to somebody like that. But nine times out of ten, man, once you come up against the big boys, they're going to be playing a very streamlined game. And their whole MO and their whole tactic is not based on controlling the game, not based on chance creation, it's based on breaking the game mechanics and abusing the game mechanics. And that's just what any game where there's something to win for eventually goes down the road. It, that's, that's where it always ends up. Once you have something, when somebody wants to win, they'll play the game the way it, the game wants to be played and the way the game is meant to be played, if that makes sense. How satisfied are you with the array of team tactics that are, again, dissatisfied, completely dissatisfied? There are options there, but nobody uses them. There's no point. You are basically tying one hand behind your back if you don't play long ball counter or quick counter. That's it. If you're sitting here and you're listening to this video and watching this video and saying, what are you talking about? I'm top 100 in the world and I'm playing possession with Pep. Congrats, you're an absolute beast. I've got to 62nd in the world using out wide, but it doesn't mean to say that the journey wouldn't have been easier if I used long ball counter. And if you haven't played long ball counter or quick counter with deep line and defensive settings on your defenders you should try it. And if you're a top 100, you'll be top 50. Easy. 
How satisfied are you with your teammates' movement when attacking? Again, I think that they've disimproved that. Um, and again, it's tied to the defensive AI. It's just too horny. How satisfied are you with are you with the def- teammates' movement when defending? Again, I'm dissatisfied with that because it's just too it's too strong. It's too strong. I think this is the wrong question. It's not a nuanced enough question for the issues in the game. It's very broad, very generic. And I don't know what this survey is trying to you know, achieve because even with this question here, how satisfied are you with your teammates' movement when defending? It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a, a catch-22 because me, when I'm defending, I'm extremely satisfied when my teammates are defending for me because it's clogging all the gaps that I'm leaving if I'm trying to win the ball back. But I'm not satisfied that that's the case. Does that make sense? So maybe I should say I can't say either way, to be honest with you. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting disillusioned just even doing this survey, lads. I feel that each AI-controlled opponent player acts according to his car- characteristics when on the ball. Now, I would say that I do agree with that. If you sim a match, you will, you will see the difference in Messi. And you'll see you know, Neymar doing stepovers and Cantona shooting on sight and Shevchenko making good runs. How satisfied are you with the way players grow tired as time passes? Dissatisfied. Stamina is the key to unlocking the full ability of this game to have stamina matter in the game that you can press, intercept, and chase all game, every game. Why would I play a defensive slow player when I can play Messi CMF and he can intercept the ball the same as Pirlo or uh, Mateus? Players in match movements and animations are unique and realistic. How strongly do you agree with this? Yeah, I would say for the players that have good ID, they they do look the part. They do look very, very nice. And that's a Konami speciality all the way back in Pez. I'm satisfied with the natu- naturalness and realism of in-match commentary. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't listened to the commentary in so long that I can't even input there. I'm satisfied with the cheering and chance doing games. I would say I can't say either way either. How would you rate the tempo of the match, including player movement and pass speed? Very bad. I would say bad because I do feel that when you control the tempo, it's good. But you have to really, really, really try and play a brand of football that isn't rewarded and that actually gets punished. But when you do play it and you come up against a weaker opponent, it's really fun. Not coming up against weaker opponents, but being able to dominate an opponent or get the better of an opponent using the way you want to play. Lags during online matches were within an acceptable range for me. I would say yes. I would definitely say yes to that. I've gone on record. Since I upgraded my internet, I haven't had an issue. I would say 90% of my matches, if not 90, definitely 80. If I stream 10 matches in a row, usually two of them are kind of a bit funky but the rest are nice. So I will say I strongly agree with that. Again, give Konami credit where they, where they deserve it, man. They've really improved the netcode for me. I can't say. I know some people really struggle with one bar and two bar connections. I know that there isn't enough servers. I know that there's a lot of stuff that the game still needs. But for me, I do feel like that the game at the moment online is, is, is fine. I don't think that it's a lag or internet issues ever. Uh, network issues, issues. I think it's gameplay. I think it's balancing. And I think that there's... There's just It's just the gameplay itself. The input delay is just too strong. They don't ask about input delay here, though, so far. We're on 91%, so I don't know. The camera angle always shows what I want to see during matches. Allow me to play comfortably. Yeah, I strongly agree with that as well, especially playing dynamic wide custom 2-2. Two, two. That's, my, that's my camera. Offline matches against the AI are entertaining. I would agree. I would agree with that. Not much more to say. PvP matches are entertaining. I would say I disagree with that. Again, this could go either way because it depends. If you come up against an opponent where you're able to play the way you want to play. So if you're able to play a bit of possession, if you can link the play, it's not a really, 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 you know, crazy interception fest. The game is very fun. So I would say that I can't say either way there. I would recommend this game to my friends. How strongly would you agree? I would agree with that because I would recommend the game for them to try it. I would think everyone should try the game. It's free. Please share any other opinions you may have about the game. Do not provide any personal information. Right, I'm going to write out my uh, little message here. And it's pretty, basically just a roundup of everything um, that I've already talked about. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so all I've written here is pretty much everything that I just already spoke about. So the biggest issue for me with the game, it is the auto defending, the AI assistance. And I've just written down there that the AI should keep their shape, not close down gaps, should, and stop attacks from even happening. There be There is times where you rip apart an opponent that isn't the best defender and the AI will just cover the gap, whether it's a goal line clearance, whether it's the AI stepping in front of your striker just before he receives the ball, whether it's passing into an area of space and the AI covers the gap and wins the ball back for the opponent. They should be passive, a little bit more passive and not aggressive. Now, I'm not talking about making the defender stupid or dumbing them down to the point where the ball is literally in front of them and they're afraid to touch it, right? Or they're afraid to lean out for it. 
But I just feel like, as I've said there, at times it does feel like you're playing against the AI. Like, genuinely, I've had matches where I've had 10, 15 shots on target and about four goal line saves from the AI. Three or four tackles from the AI. Like, it's just, it's just crazy. Also, interceptions of passing need rebalancing as it's common for matches to have 90 interceptions or more. I don't ever remember having as many interceptions as I have in the last two, three weeks. Passing needs to dictate this the same way as stamina needs to dictate this. And then I just said we need more content and more to grind instead of giving us free cards. Give us an event to earn those same free cards. Free cards? Yeah, free cards. So lads, that is it for the survey, man. We're going to pop that off. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you agree or disagree with anything I filled out there. And let me know your thoughts, man. There's no real mention of any modes, anything like that. Um, and it's it's tough, man, because like, look, they are kind of focusing on different things now. You know, you can see here that they're focusing on, on, on some sort of... Um, some sort of YouTube uh, stream, YouTube live stream, where they're using different, you know, six YouTubers. Um, you can see here, the, the six YouTubers are here. Um, and I think that they're focusing on different things now, especially on the mobile po uh, part of the game, and obviously in the Japanese region, because the game is doing serious numbers. I mean, it recently had 800 million downloads. Um, it's, it's doing incredible, man. It's doing incredible numbers. It's making incredible money. Um, but I just feel like at this stage, like this is now the time to drive it on and really make a game that we can grind, you know, really make something that we can grind and really make something that we can kind of sink our teeth into. If there's one, a campaign a month that we can actually sink our teeth into it takes 20 days to complete a campaign, still having all the cards and still having everything. Just give us a couple of unique cards that we can grind. Give us a weekend league or a league that we're actually able to grind all of this stuff is good, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit all over this and say like, oh, you know, I wish that they did this sort of stuff with me and other streamers and um, you know, other people and stuff like that. I mean, it would be great, but as I said, I'm happy that they're even doing anything. You know, this seems to be here some sort of like league um that they're playing amongst themselves. As you see there, we just translated the page. But um yeah, I genuinely just feel like that the game is is just doing so well at the moment that I think that they're just trying to probably keep the focus on what they're doing. And I think that the big part of that is at the moment that they're going like, you know, EAFC, it's not even a rival anymore. Or eFootball is not even a rival to EAFC anymore because they're both going for different things. One is a free-to-play game with no buy-in to download the game and try it. The other is 70, 80 quid where you need a lot of buy-in to play the game and compete. Because if you go online in EAFC with a shit team, you're going to get destroyed. You can't compete in a weekend league without grinding a good squad. And, you know, playing the game on your whole weekend. Whereas eFootball, you can download it today, play one or two matches, go back to it in a month's time, you still have your same players, go back to it in a year's time, still have your same players, your same team, your same everything. There's no buy-in. You can download it for free. So I do feel like that, that at this stage, it is because they are going, you know, uncontested. You know, UFL is not out. There's no free-to-play football title apart from eFootball. So, yeah. That is it for me. I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget to check us out tomorrow. We will be back live stream on Monday. It's going to be a big one. Monday Madness is back. Until next time, get in touch. Comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Peace.